Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the doll high chair. Now there are two different versions of the doll high chair that exist. They are assembled the same except for the doll tray. I'll show both versions so make sure you follow along with which version you purchased. If you have any damaged pieces or missing parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. If at the end you have any questions for Badger Basket, please reach out to them. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part B, the left side, part C, the back, part A, the seat. You will also need part D, the footrest rail, part E, the support rail, and you will need five of the J screws. What we're gonna be doing first is putting on everything onto the left side of the high chair. So to determine what is the middle of the high chair or the inside of the high chair, you will see where the footrest rail goes. There's two holes. One will be for a dowel and one will be for a screw. That's what you know is the inside of the high chair. The outside of the high chair, the very top hole will actually be indented and that is where the screw will go in. So first what I'm going to do is put on the back support of the high chair. Now for this piece, you will see that there's two holes here that will align to the two top holes here. When we're putting in these screws, only put in the very top hole. We're only gonna put a screw in here. This one will be used later on when we're putting the tray on. So for this part, we'll align the top hole here and we're gonna put in this first screw in. So for this assembly, I'm going to be using a drill to make it go a little bit faster. Feel free to use a drill, but if you do, put it on a low torque setting so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So once that piece is on, next what we're going to be doing is putting on the seat. So for the seat, again, you will see two holes on the end. Those will align with these two holes here. So under where the back is, we're gonna be screwing in the seat. Now make sure when that seat is on that you have the decorative material facing forward. So this is how it should look at this point. Next what we're going to be doing is putting on the footrest rail. So the footrest rail is the one that has the dowels. As you'll see there's the dowel, then there's the hole for the screw and a curved edge. The curved edge needs to be facing forward. So the dowel will go to the back hole and you will screw through that first hole. So let's put that into place here. So as you can see, the dowel will go into the back there. I'm gonna turn it here so you can see. And the last thing we need to do is put in that support rail. The support rail will have a hole on both sides and we're just going to put it in this very bottom hole down here. So it'll go like so. For step two, you will need part F, the right side, and five of the J screws. For step two, we're going to be putting on the right side of the high chair. Now again, to determine what's the inside of the piece is that the two holes will align with that footrest rail. You'll have the dowel and where the screw will go in. And the outside of the high chair, that very top hole, will have an indented hole so where the screw will go in. So what I find is easiest to line all these pieces up. We're going to be screwing in 
essentially the same exact things as we did the other side. I find it easiest to lay it on the side to screw all them in, which I will do. Um, but remember, when putting in the screws, make sure to, to avoid that second hole on the top there. This will be used later on when we're putting in the tray. So I'm going to lay this on top. Make sure I align everything and have that dowel in from that footrest rail. And I'm going to put all screws in place. When putting on the tray for the doll high chair, there are two different versions that are out there. There is one that has the plastic inserts and one that has metal washers. If you have the one with the plastic inserts, they will be parts K that will include a screw in the tray. If you have the one that has the metal washer, it's called part J, which has the metal washers, the screws in the tray. I'm going to show the assembly for both. I'll first start with the one with the plastic spacers, but stay tuned if you have the one with the metal washers. So next we're going to be putting on the tray. So for the tray, we're going to be using the plastic spacers that'll be going into the hole on each of the tray arms. So we're going to put those in place. You just pop them in there. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Once they're in place, we'll put the tray on top of the high chair. And this is when we're going to screw in the last screws into each of those holes that we never put a screw in before. So this would be the second hole from the top. So we're going to put it through the arm of the high chair, through the arm of the side, into the back support. And we're going to do that on both sides here. and screw those into place. So next we're going to show how to put the tray on for those who have the metal washer. Now this part is a little bit trickier, so just kind of pay attention and see if you can catch along with me here. So what we're going to be doing is putting the screw in through the tray arm. On this side, we will have the metal washer, and then it'll go through that second hole on the high chair, which will go into the backrest. So I, what I'm going to do is put the screw in through the tray arm first. Then we're going to put the washer onto that screw and just have it ever so slightly poking out so that the washer is just barely there. And what we're going to do is the same on the other side. Put that screw through that hole. Put that washer on. Next, what we're going to try to do with both of the screws slightly and with those washers hanging off is lower those tray arms onto each side without trying to lose that washer. Once we get it on, we'll push the screw through that second hole and then we'll screw them into both sides. So just kind of ease that tray on there. it down to that hole and push that screw on each side so it should be the screw through the tray arm through the washer to the back of the chair so let's get these screwed into place And we've completed the assembly for the doll high chair. All set for your doll to enjoy. 
If you have any questions or concerns, at the end of the instructional video, you'll find that contact information. Badger Basket thanks you for watching. Have a great day.